What's up, guys? I got my good buddy JT Larkin from the Hook and Arrow Podcast. How What's you up, doing, buddy? brother? You ready? That stash is looking great. I know I got it all waxed up and stuff for the occasion. Ready to go. I like it. Summer stash time. The good folks at Oxbeam have sent us a giant light. You normally put this on a truck, it puts out a super amount of bright light and I've never seen or done a night fishing episode with an incredible amount of light where you could see everything. We got uh, a bag of fried chicken, okay? Very essential to night fishing and Red, Red Bull. Bull. Make sure you have Red Bull. You ready to do this brother? Dude, I'm ready. Let's All go right. man. Let's go do it. <laughs> It's a drum. drum. We it's talked about drum. we talked about the drum, man. <laughs> the drum loved the night bite. Oh, he crushed it though. Oh man, he like mangled my spinnerbait. <laughs> Hit it so hard. The drum. All right, guys, we are out here night fishing. We got no problem seeing what's around us right now. In fact, I can't even look back at you because it's going to blind me. We've got one drum in the boat right now. JT's caught a little bass and we're fishing some riprap. We're trying to figure things out. I caught my fish on a black spinner bait. We're just trying to bang our lures off of these rocks and try to make some noise. JT, what do you got, dude? Is that a smolly? Dude, it's a smolly. Dude, smolly, <laughs> dude. That's awesome, man. Nighttime smollies, yeah. man. Check it out, dude. Dude, that is so cool, man. <laughs> that's the, the black 300 bandit. That's the first smallmouth I've ever <laughs> seen caught out of here. Really? Yeah, in my boat, yeah. Serious. <laughs> that's awesome. Guys, we throw black at night because it's a silhouette deal. And uh, yeah, it seems to work. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We've been fishing out here for about an hour now. That's only our, that's our first actual bass caught. So pretty awesome, dude. Smallmouth. Dude, he I smoked I can't, can't believe yeah. he caught a small. I, I could tell by the way it was jumping that it was gonna be a smallie. Yeah. Dude, that's so cool, man. There we go, folks. Smallies at night. Dude, that's, a, that's an accomplishment right there. <laughs> Oh, there's another. Oh, there's another. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Good one, dude. Oh, I think I lost him. Oh, dude, I saw it. He's, he's yeah, coming. Ah, dang. Oh, dang, dude. There would have been two cats in a row. There you go, buddy. A little large mouth. A little large mouth. Not a big one. How bright is that light right now on you? Dude, this light <laughs> is so bright right now. Ooh, there you go. A little black crankbait. Yeah. Nice little large mouth. Nice. Night fishing. Black and blue. Black, red, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Oh my gosh, dude. Yep. I hooked one like as soon as it hit the water, bro. What the heck? Dude, that was like as soon as it hit the water. It was like sinking. What the heck do I have? <laughs> this thing's really, this is a big fish. This is a big fish right here. Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, it's a cat, it's a slimer. Uh, you just never know what you're gonna get into when you're night fishing. Look at that. JT's hooking all the bass. I've got the oddities. God, these catfish, man, they make all kinds of noises. Womp womp. Now I got all the goo. The goop is on me. Putting on a black and red and blue chatterbait with a gold blade right now. 
It's a guarantee I'm gonna lose this bait on this riprap that we're fishing. But it's my last option because I don't, I ran out of my black spinner baits. I only had three and I lost them all. So riprap is not the, your friend as far as keeping the tackle box full, but it is good for catching the basses. Got him? Yep. All right. Good one? Yeah. Well, maybe. It's shaking his head pretty much. Crazy world. Oh, it's got, oh, oh, Smalley, no. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, gosh. It's a pretty good one. All right. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. We were just talking about changing spots and then. Not a bad fish. Nice large he came through on the old uh, wiggle wart. The old wiggle wart. Dude, you can always you can always count on a wiggle wart, guys, to catch them at night. It's a wide wobbler. It just catches them. That's a good large mouse, dude. Color doesn't even matter that much. It's got such a good action. Oh yeah. And I got my chatterbait back. <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> That's a win, guys. That's a win. A nice fish and a bait back. Nice job, buddy. Put him back. A super <laughs> duper dink. Dude, he is a super duper dink. <laughs> oh my, dude, is that a spot? It's a spot. Dude, there's the three right that's there. A, three. That's a chunker spot right there. He's a fat little nugget. Congratulations on catching all three species in one <laughs> night. Don't worry, I got the oddities covered. <laughs> Some about to smoke slaunch right here. Got him. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Uh, hey, oh, Smalley. Look at that. Two smallmouth. Dude. That's awesome. That's right there where you caught the, that other one. Yeah. That's cool. It's your first smallmouth out of here, huh? Dude, I think that is my first smallmouth ever, actually, out of this lake. So, got him on the jig. Not a big one, but I'll take it. That's my first bass of the night. JT's been crushing me. And that's a beautiful one right there. Love it, let me smell you, honey. Oh, it smells so much better than those catfish. See you, dear. Hey, look. Dude, this is a beautiful little bluegill. <laughs> it's ni nice catch, it was a nice catch. Those are our all centrarchids right there. We got the bluegill, we got the smallmouth, we got the spotted bass, and we got the largemouth. Always lip your bluegill to make them look bigger. Always grow a mustache to make your bluegill look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last cast right here, dude. Well, guys, it was a good night fishing. We caught some pretty good fish. JT caught the centrarchid slam. <laughs> Caught just about every bass species in the lake. I caught a bunch of uh, oddity species and ended up catching a decent smallmouth. But we threw stuff that uh, is, you know, slow and dark colored, basically. Um, JT was cranking, throwing, what was that a Bandit 300? Yeah, Bandit 300, just solid black. Solid black, you did the best on that. You threw a wiggle wart as well, both yeah, just, you know. Putting out that vibration, dark colors are always good when you're cranking. I was throwing a couple of different jigs. I had some bites on spinner baits. I lost them all, but <laughs> spinner baits are usually good at night. You want to throw a, a dark colored spinner bait. I like a half ounce or three quarters with a big Colorado blade. And uh, I put, usually put like a chunk trailer or some type of craw trailer on there as well. And just, just go slow, just take your time and fish thoroughly and you'll usually get some, some decent bites and they'll turn on just like that. You know, they may not bite till, you know, 12 midnight, one in the morning, but. JT, uh, had a good time fishing with your brother. Yeah, you too, buddy. And uh, these lights helped a lot. Dude, it was cool. This was a neat experience to be actually be able to see what you're throwing at and make target cast to. So I want to thank Oxbeam for sending us the lights and make sure you go to the uh, Hook and Arrow podcast. You can find it on iTunes. Go subscribe on iTunes. Go subscribe there. Go subscribe to JT's channel at Hook and Arrow. And make sure you're subscribed here and tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed this night fishing episode. 
hit the thumbs up, and we'll catch y'all later. I'm blind. <laughs> I am blind. Yeah.